right, this video I'm talking about being too old for combat sport versus being too old for martial arts. Um, the way that I see it is that you can be too old for combat sport, and it's more obvious uh, combat sport is um, very dangerous activity. So um, it's like being a boxer, you know, or being a football player. Um, it's, it's dangerous, you know, to the brain, you know, it's not good for your health. So the older that you are, um, it's going to be more difficult to compete. And it's, this is very clear. I mean, you see a lot of football players retiring, um, a lot of boxers retiring and, you know, it's very demanding on the body. So it's very clear that that it's not something that you could do for your entire life. It's not a lifelong thing, you know. If you do do it, it's it's a short-term um, activity. So you could clearly be too old for combat sport. Um, even basketball, um, you can't play forever in the NBA. You know, you, you eventually will have to retire because you're not going to be able to compete against, you know, all those other people that are younger and more athletic and faster and all the other stuff. So you even look at Michael Jordan, he's not in the NBA anymore. Um, Muhammad Ali has passed away, he's not boxing anymore. Mike Tyson is, is no longer professionally boxing. There's a lot of retired boxers. Um, so to compete at that level, it's very clear, you can be too old. So um, combat sport is, there's a shelf life to it. It, there's an expiration date to it. But martial arts, on the other hand, can you be too old for martial arts? Um, my answer to that question is no. You know, martial arts is a lifelong discipline. It's uh, it's about training towards health. So it's not the same as combat sports. So if you confuse, uh, you know, martial arts with combat sport, then... Um, you know, then you could be misinformed. Martial arts is like, you know, it's just simply like exercising towards greater health. So can you tell somebody that they're too old to walk? No. You know, you could be walking for your whole life. Let's tell someone to, they're too old to, to, to jog. No, you know, you could, you could still jog, you know, for pretty much your whole life. You can't tell somebody that they're too old to lift weights, you know, you, you could lift weights for your whole life. So you can't tell somebody that they're too old to care about their, to take care of their health. You know, actually the older that you are, the more important it is to take care of your health. So martial arts is the combination of the, the body, mind, and spirit. So you train for health, you train to become more intelligent and you train to become more meditative and spiritual. Um, and that becomes even more important as you get older, as you start heading towards death. You got to be prepared for it from a spiritual standpoint. Um, find that inner peace from within. So martial arts is definitely for people of all ages, no matter if you're young um, or if you're an adult, you know, or somebody who's an elder, you know. No matter if you're 10 years old, 30, or 20, 30, 40, 50, 80, 90 years old, martial arts is a lifelong practice. So martial arts, you can't be too old for it. You know, it's like saying that you're too old to grow. You're too old to, to care about your health. You know, it's like, no, it's a lifelong practice. Combat sport, on the other hand, it yes, you can be too old. You know, you know, you're you're forty years old, fifty years old, sixty years old, and you're fighting other people and getting injuries, head injuries, and broken teeth, and black eyes, and broken jaws, and broken bones. Clearly, it's not something that you could do for a long time. So I think people need to pay attention to that. Where um, don't confuse uh, combat sport with martial arts. Martial arts is a lifelong practice. Combat sport, on the other hand, it's um, 
there's a shelf life.